Hi guys, the right-wing media's job is to convince the public that they should think in a particular way on both social and economic issues. The likes of The Sun, The Daily Mail and The Express will poison minds to the extent that working class people will be more angry with other working class people than with employers who are treating working class people like crap. Now I'm not a fan of Jeremy Vine but his show took a caller who perfectly demonstrates this phenomenon. Thanks to Get a Grip for sharing this. Have a listen. Well, I did notice that when he was listing all the people who deserved a rise, he didn't mention supermarket workers. The people, I think, were face to face more with the public than anybody else during the pandemic, but they're very often forgotten. My son would have to work over three years to earn £60,000. And so he's just had a pay rise of 54p. Now, I just think, all right, life isn't fair. I very often tell people that, but it does seem that they are the forgotten. Hey, uh, Brian, thank you very much for your call. Let's speak to Linda calling from Kent. Uh, Linda, how are you feeling about rail workers uh, potentially striking? Or actually, they will be striking uh, come the end of July. Yeah, very angry. I think it's um, utterly greedy. It's a me, me, me society. I'm a pensioner now. I hate saying that, but I am. I'd love somebody to give me £900. My son works in a supermarket. To earn what they earn, he would have to work for three and a half years. He has to pay bills. How does he think they pay bills? They're like the first-class passengers on the Titanic, aren't they? We'll all jump off. We'll all have the lifeboats and blow the rest of you. It makes me so angry. My son worked all through the pandemic face to face with God knows who and, and now and got nothing but abuse and the same now. You try it. Well, our members oh, did. They oh, worked oh, through I'm the angry. They worked through the, all my members worked through the pandemic, uh, Linda, and your son deserves an awful lot better than what he he's was. getting. I bet your son's... I bet pence your, he's got. 54 pence, right. well, that's a scandal. I bet your son's employers are doing all right. I bet they got enough in profits, but they don't want to give any life, of it to the people that it? make them for them. I'm sorry, that's life. <laughs> sorry, that's life? So, OK, I am trying to understand here. Is this lady a real caller or is she a plant is she a tory activist calling in um to attack the unions here or maybe she works for the <laughs> she's a director in one of these companies and she's calling in to uh, pretend to be a concerned mother whose son is struggling at the moment um get a grip in his uh, comment here is correct join a union now unfortunately it's not always possible for people to join a union um but if it was possible for her son to join a union, then he would be able to negotiate a better pay increase and not 56p or 59p or whatever it was. A pittance. But her response is, that's life. Wh why is that a response? How is that a justified response? Like, how can you call, complain, and then just respond and say, that's life? The trade union's job is to fight for their fight for their members, the workers, try to get better work uh, working conditions and better pay for them, protect them from employers who just want to fire them on a whim or create a toxic environment. That's the job of these trade unions, and as we all know, most most of the time, um, they do they do a good job. Sometimes they don't, but that's a and that's a a discussion for another day but the fact that her son works for a supermarket and he doesn't and he's not part of a union is not a problem for the RMT it's not a problem for other working class people that's a problem within our society that certain companies are not allowing uh, their staff to unionize it, they're not allowing unions to come in and give information to workers, allow them to become part of these unions. The unions are there to protect their members and the, and the workers. And to complain and say, well, that's just life and there's nothing you can do about it is extremely defeatist. And it sounds to me that she's maybe a plant, maybe she's a Tory activist or she's working on behalf of the company. Because... <sighs> It doesn't make any sense to me that you would complain and then just turn around and say, well, that's life. 
that why did you bother calling if that's life? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.